Hey guys, Predator here. Welcome to Lawn Mowing Simulator. Here we are for a first look at the demo version. So huge thank you to the devs for sending me out a key to check this out early. Not sure when it's going to be released um, as a demo for you guys to check out and play. So I'll have to sort of keep you guys in the loop with that and um, let you know when it's going to happen. But let's go with creating a new career. I'm going to skip the tutorials. So this is one of the things we can actually do early on. Uh, with the demo, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to be called Brudos Mowing. That's actually um, my company name in real life. I do actually have a lawn maintenance, a lawn and property maintenance company that I run myself here in Australia, in New South Wales. Um, looking at a logo, it's a lot of pretty cool logos. It'd be good to be able to do our own. Let's check this one out. It looks like um, somebody that are actually work with, not work with, but is a local to me, Blade Mate Lawn Care, looks pretty similar, he's actually on YouTube as well, so you guys check him out, okay, so name, Brudo, player avatar, we'll leave it as that, change the hat, I actually do wear a black hat uh, when I mow lawns, which is pretty cool that there's one in there, logo placement, uh, uniform colours, well, I have a black t-shirt with like a light green under my arms, so it looks pretty similar to my shirt actually, like really really perfect to be honest uh, confirm let's confirm are you happy with the company setup select accept to start or back if you want to make more changes we'll select accept so we have three thousand dollars at the moment we can go with the Steiger estate 2084 H petrol powered ride on mile with 452 cc Steiger engine 84 centimeter cutting deck with two blades and a 200 liter rear grass collector so it's got some stuff here, as you can see the deck size, the deck type is the collector deck, uh, drive system rear wheel drive, fuel tank 5 litres, 8.8 kilometres and 240 litre hopper capacity. We can go with the the Knight OFS1, new to the Knight fleet is the Agile OFS1 with 120, 112 centimetre mulching deck and articulated steering, it is perfect for tight spaces. So deck size, it says there, 98 centimetres. Um, why does it say they're 112 centimetre mulching deck? The deck size is 98, I don't know, anyway. So mulcher, rear wheel drive, 5 litre capacity and 7 kilometres, where this one's 8.8. Let's go with the night, I think. So we'll buy that, we've got 250 bucks left over. Yeah, the only job we have at the moment, I believe, um, I don't know if we can move the camera around, but it's the front garden at Old Nook Cottage. So now we have to sign employee and vehicle. So I don't know if we can eventually long term hire other employees, put them on other mowers and send them out to do jobs. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Okay, so me, and we'll use our Knight OFS1, and we'll go confirm, and we'll start. So one thing I'll let you guys know straight up is the camera angles aren't too bad, but just the way you control the camera, for me personally, I don't like it. Um, hopefully they can look at it and work on it a little bit. I think definitely for a game like this, camera angles are going to be pretty important to make sure you're not missing anything. There is a pretty good concept though that we can actually use the left control key. It'll actually show you the grass that we've actually missed. Okay, so front garden, old the cottage, requirement is 99%, 5 to 6 centimetre cut height, so we can change the height of the cut. We need to make sure we do that. Uh, ground check time limit 4 minutes and cutting time limit 26 minutes. Right, so let's go. So, I said the camera angles aren't too bad. This is first person, of course. We can't change the camera angle from here, but we need to do a ground check. So, there should be three. Ooh. Luckily, we didn't run that over. Oop. Three objects. Now, if we're unsure where it is, left control. It'll show there was something glowing over here. So, we'll come and have a look. What is that? A stick? Definitely don't want a stick. Run over a stick. Okay, can't see anything else there. The other thing that really annoys me, you see the mouse down the bottom? That, um, I don't like that either. Where's this last one? Must be here somewhere. I literally cannot see it anywhere. There it is. What's that? A magazine. Right, done. Right, return to the trailer and unload the vehicle to start. 
cutting. So the mouse shouldn't be here. Really should. Um, right, jump in on our mouse. As I said, the the camera's not bad, but I don't like the way the mouse is there and the camera really moves really, really quick. And we've got a few different camera angles you can see. So hold Z to start the engine. Now we need to change the cutting height. So keys E and C will change the cutting height. As you can see down the bottom right hand corner. So five to six centimeters. Now we can't move anywhere. So we need to increase the throttle. So T to increase. There we go. And then we'll use Z to engage the blades. We don't want to do that yet because we will damage them if we're driving on the concrete. Alright, so use Z to engage. Oh, yep, Q. So we need to press Q to actually lower the deck. Then engage the blades. And then off we go. So we can start cutting. Now, one thing I've also. Um, noticed as well, we'll try and get this camera set up in a decent spot, is we've got flowers and stuff in these gardens here. We can actually go over there and run in, run over them. It does actually take away, it actually gives you a fine, which is actually quite interesting. I know for me in real life, um, I wouldn't get fined for it, but the client would not be impressed, it would not want to pay the same amount of money, so I guess that's... Um, Pretty close to to being real, whether you get fined or you know the customer just doesn't want to pay because you've destroyed their garden. So we need to try and avoid driving into the garden if we can. Alright, so we're already up to nearly 10%. Alright, so I want to try and oh, try not to. Yeah, that's damaged our ride on as you can see there the vehicle condition has gone down a little bit just get these little bits right then we'll continue on with our run around the outside same in here and you can actually hear oh geez that was a big hit you can actually hear the engine uh, sort of start to die down when you get into the thicker stuff as well which is really, really cool. Alright, so we'll do another run. What I'll do is I'll um, do a run around the outside and I won't talk for this run, this next run, and you guys can just listen. I don't know. Yeah, it's really better off doing it from here. Let you guys listen to the engine. Then you'll be able to hear it make different sounds bop down and stuff. See there, it definitely bogged down. You can see it on the right hand side as well where the speed is. You'll see it start to bog down every now and then. Okay, just did it again. So one thing that I've learned with that is you can either let off like that. So it'll stop it from bogging down too much and then keep going or I don't know, just drive through it, but I don't know what happens if you do drive through it. in the background definitely something you're going to have to get used to just trying to not miss anything so I do love the way the guy actually looks on the mower like when, he's, when we're turning he's actually turning his head when we go backwards, he's looking backwards, like that is really cool, that's just, you know, like a really small, minor detail that I guess a lot of developers and stuff would overlook, but obviously, if they're going to make it a proper simulator, you know, in real life you would do the same thing, you don't just back up and not look at where you're actually going, you know, you've got to make sure you can see where, you, where you're going and what you're doing. There we go, so we overloaded the engine. Again, up the top it says you need to increase the height or slow down a little bit. Now I'm not sure if the game is compatible with like an Xbox control or not. Um, that's one thing I'm not sure of. I may um, 
get my old Xbox 360 controller out um, and have a look because if it is I think that's going to be pretty good definitely be an added bonus maybe even you know even with a steering wheel would be would be cool in the long long term I mean I know that's obviously maybe quite difficult to actually implement into into the game itself but being able to use like a proper steering wheel and stuff would be really cool the only other thing I guess I think I'd like to see long term as well is like side discharge mowers I'm not sure what the other mowers have in the future so you can see the grass getting thrown onto the ground uh, potentially have the grass thrown onto the client's driveway like over here on their footpath and then us actually have to get on our on our feet um, and go for a run around with a blower and, and tidy up afterwards maybe even you know eventually have you know a whippersnipper or a weed whacker depending on where you guys are from um, and do around the garden beds and all those tight spaces and stuff that the the ride-ons can't get into and even you know do the edges maybe have like a um, some sort of mini game to do edges edging and stuff I'll try not to destroy any of these beautiful plants they've got there right so we're up to 51.9 percent so we should get this done quite quickly I think so from what I've was told as well by the devs that sent me through the key, I think there's only the two mowers available at the moment and only the two properties to mow. So what we'll do is we'll get this one done this episode and then maybe move through uh, to the next episode. Yeah, look at... Ooh. That's interesting. There we go, we've just destroyed the grass a little bit, like damaged the soil. That That is really cool as well that would obviously be something that does happen in real life I don't actually own a zero turn ride on or anything like this I do own an old ride on that was donated to me by my pop which I don't use that often but from the guys that I talk to quite a bit that have um, zero turns and standards and stuff like that um, they have said you know you need to be very very careful with tight turns and stuff like that because it can rip up the ground oh there we go I did destroy a flower and we got fined I don't know if you guys seen that at the top then didn't stay there for very long but yeah so it's definitely something we need to be mindful of you know you can still turn tight but don't turn tight flat out like I did before right and then as you can see then it started to bog down again I don't know if there's much we can do from different camera angles and stuff. As I said, I think just removing the mouse from the camera would be a bonus. Then having more flexibility with the camera angles would be another good thing too. Let's cut this off there. So you can either go to this side of the mower or you probably might have been better off going uh, this side that way you can still see what you're doing and make sure you're not overlapping quite too much we'll see our little guy here is wearing his uh, PPE personal protective equipment earmuffs, glasses, that sort of stuff hopefully he's got some sunscreen on Though I think we, we are in England, so I'm not saying you guys don't get sunburnt over in England, but oh there we go, we've damaged the ground again a little bit. I think that's from me anyway. Um, but yeah, obviously it's not quite as hot as down here in Australia, and you won't get as sunburnt, I don't think. Don't quote me on it, because I'm not quite sure. Right, let's go back to first person for a little while. So one thing that's missing here is um, our hands and feet. Right, as I said, it's still... This is like early access demo version, so this is before the actual demo is going to be released. So things will change long term. Hopefully um, the devs will 
be able to watch you know our episodes um, and other people's episodes when they get their keys as well and implement some things from my ideas and you, you guys if you guys have any ideas you know, leave it in the comment section hopefully you know if the devs come in and check it out we'll, uh, they will maybe be able to implement some stuff not to run over these plants. Yeah, if you've got any ideas, suggestions, as I said, leave it in the comment section and um, hopefully we'll be able to get our ideas through to the right people and um, get some cool things implemented into the game in the future. Up to 83.3%, so we haven't got a great deal to go. Another couple of strips here and then this last little bit. Definitely looking a lot better than what it was when we first started. Um, I thought I was going to destroy the ground again then. Yeah, so the camera angles, I mean, they're not bad, but I'd like to be able to get... I, I can push the mouse up and down, but I'd like to get... Oh, there we go, get it a little bit lower. Depending on which camera angle you use, like, I'd like to be lower like I am now, so I can see that a little bit more. So the other thing is, obviously with um, side discharge mowers, you'd be a little bit more strategic, because we'd be spitting the grass out to the right hand side, so you wouldn't want to continually be going over, like mow like this, because then you're throwing the grass onto what's not mode and then we'll make it a lot harder for the mold to actually go through that. It's quite an interesting articulation at the back of this mower though, definitely. Something a little bit different. It'll be something to get used to in real life, like it would take a little while to get used to it I think. So the other thing I will show you guys quickly now is if we hold the left control button see what we've missed so that'll help us get to that 99 percent obviously in real life I would, I would want to make sure I've got 100 percent not leave anything behind but it being just you know a game I don't think we're gonna have to get perfect but I'd like to get as close as possible I don't want to risk going in and damaging any more flowers and getting another fine. It's the last thing I want to do. Look, there goes the ground again. I don't know if we get fine. Oh, there you go. You damage the ground. Fine. Find incurred. So that's good to see as well that, you know, if we have to actually damage the ground, we will actually have to pay for it. Pay for our damages and stuff, which is really, really good. 98.4, so we should be at 99 by the time we get all this, hopefully. Boom. Done. Alright, so let's press Z to disengage the blade. Q to lift the deck. And we'll head back towards the trailer. So we can drop the throttle down now. Then we can't move. We need to have the throttle all the way up so we can actually drive. So vehicle, engine and blade conditions a little bit down. So that should just be normal wear and tear anyway, really. Right, let's park this bad boy back up here. Look at that. Beautiful, let's get a quick screenshot. The old Nook Cottage front garden. Missed little bits here and there, as you can see. Obviously real life would make sure we didn't miss anything, but... Not too bad. Right, so we'll see what happens once we get back and see how much money we actually made. I don't think we made much for that. For me in real life, um, I pretty much charge a dollar a minute. My minimum fee is $60 for any lawn that I do uh, where I am, so I don't care if it takes me 10 minutes to do the lawn or an hour. 
I still charge exactly the same amount. Minimum fee is always 60 bucks, and anything more than that, obviously I charge that little bit extra. But Okay, so complexity, only one star, so not very hard. Ground check time bonus, five bucks. Ground check earnings, 20 bucks, or pounds. Cutting time bonus, 21 pounds. Valuables recovered, none. I didn't see any valuables. Penalties and fines. Uh, flowers destroyed, two bucks. Collision, seven dollars. Cleanup fee, nothing. Ground damage, 0 0.66. Incorrect cut height, vehicle maintenance. Okay, so $347 plus 66. Uh, was that respect points? Done. That is pretty good. Right, so we have um, our night. Press confirm. We can do maintenance, repair the vehicle. Uh, full repair, engine, uh, where's that money, 587, yeah it is cost us money, and we could repair the blades, I don't know why, you wouldn't want to do that every time obviously in real life, definitely want to refuel, you would want to repair the blades every time and all this sort of stuff, um, okay, attachments, no attachments for this, other vehicles will have attachments, statistics, gives you the total time, distance, uh, 1.2 kilometers traveled actually. Grass cut 990 square meters. Grass cut volume 0.21 cubic meters. Total money earned. Uh, contracts completed. Average earnings. Maintenance cost. Maintenance cost per contract. That's pretty good actually. And we can sell the vehicle or part exchange vehicle. So we can exchange it for this. But. As I said, I'd like to see a lot of these other things. Maybe we'll do a um, separate video going through all these, the information on all the, the bowls that are in the game at the moment. Alright, um, no, let's go back to the map. So now our next one is going to be Kingsbury House. £345, 75 RP value, and complexity one and a half stars. What's up, radio guys? What we'll do is we'll end the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. As I said, if you've got any ideas, suggestions, leave it in the comments section. I know the devs that sent me through the key will definitely check out this video. And um, hopefully get back to some of us and put our ideas on the table and look at them for the full release. Now, uh, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. Don't forget to check out Blade Mate Lawn Care on YouTube as well. He's um, someone that I work with in the local area. And he's going gang buses on YouTube, does a lot of free lawn care, uh, mows and stuff for charity. So check him out, Blade Mate Lawn Care. But it's been Brito, thanks for watching. See you guys again soon.